Hello, this is Mr. Evil Cheese. And I'm Zombie This is our review of the Walking Dead comic series Shane action figure from comic series 5. So there's the package. And it's got a bunch of zombies all over it. Look at that crazy looking one at the top. <laughs> Looks like Joker zombie or something. I don't know. And there you can see him in the package. Then on the back, they got a picture of everybody from this series. So let's open him up. So there's Shane Walsh out of the package. And he looks pretty cool with the sculpt. Let's say his beard's a little messy. But we'll go over that a little bit. And he comes with a little severed head. Courtesy of the whisperers. With the twiddle beard. <laughs> he got a funny little beard. But there's a look at Shane. Got a fancy little police hat, which is not removable, but you can probably tell that because it's so tight against his head or something. <laughs> and it says police on it. But like I was saying, it looks like his beard's a little messy. Like it's, where it's dark it's fine, but it, it, it may paint him like this light stuff around. It just looks dirty. Yeah, it does. And on this side it's a little, a little bit higher than that side. And then, I'm not sure if he's supposed to be looking at us or to the side, because it looks like he's looking to the side a little bit. He's got squinty eyes. And he's got lots of brown on him. Got a brown hat, brown jacket, brown pants. His jacket's kind of glossy looking. Well, so are his pants. you think the leathery jacket would be the glossy one and the pants would be flat, but they're both kind of glossy. But the sculpt's really good, I think. It's got a nice jacket. It's got the little symbol sculpted there. I think he's well done. He's just kind of boring. A little bit. Um, he's got the scarf. What is that a scarf? What is that? Yeah, I remember he always had this on. <laughs> it was just like some kind of scarf he made out of something. But that's sculpted nicely. He's got the little badge there. Did they not paint a button? Oh, he just doesn't have a button there. Oh, they got the stripes painted down his legs. And there's a close-up look of his face. I mean, I think it looks like him from the comics, basically. They should have just left out that... Whatever that's supposed to be. I don't know if it's supposed to be shading or what. They should have just not done that. Yeah. Because the regular beard looks fine. One well, thing that's kind of weird about Shane is... It was mostly drawn by the one artist. And then he left. And then Shane was died around then or something... So the Charlie Adler, who draws all the comics now that most people think of now, didn't really draw Shane much at all. I don't know, it's just kind of weird. I'm guessing they're trying to make it look like the original guy's art, probably. One thing that's awesome about this Shane, compared to the TV Shane, is that he's actually articulated. <laughs> he can actually move his legs around and his arms and everything. That's just really cool. Doesn't have much on the torso, though. Is it just stuck? I don't know. Oh yeah, it was just stuck. Well still, it doesn't move a whole lot. But most of these figures don't turn very much there anyway. But still, you can do split. Oh, is that gonna break? Eh. Might need a hard drive. It's really tight right there. I think the paint or something is holding it in place. So I guess we'll go over articulation first. Um, because that's what's nice about getting a Shane with articulation. I just wish they'd make a TV version of Shane with articulation like this. But his head can probably just, not gonna happen now. <laughs> probably not. Spin there, go back and forth. Then up with his shoulders, stiff, but he can move pretty decently. And then it spins it to elbow. Gonna do that. And then it spins it to wrist. And is there? Yeah, there's a joint there too. A hinge, whatever. And like we showed, he can kind of move there. Then down to the legs, he's got the Darrow articulation. So he can kick out to the side or to the front. He's really squeaky. Yeah, he is. And this one just this one doesn't want to go out there, so I might have to use a hair dryer. Kick back that far. And get spin. Then down at the ankles, you can go like that. And spin. So that's much better than the uh, the TV <laughs> chain. <laughs> 
pretty much anything's better than him. Yeah. I don't know, what are you thinking about the colors? It just seems like the jacket and... I mean, it's a uniform, so maybe it should be all the same color. It just seems I'm like... not a big fan of doo-doo brown. Yeah. I don't like that color. It's kind of just... Meh. Not exactly exciting to me. I don't know. I mean, that's how we dress, so... Yeah, I mean, that's how it's supposed to be. I just don't like it. <laughs> and he comes with this shotgun. Which is a cool shotgun. They did a nice job on it. Yeah, there's some nice detailing on the stock. He also comes with this handgun, which fits into his holster, which has this little thing you can push into there. Which doesn't want to stay. <laughs> but it's just a plain little handgun. His hands are kind of weird, too. They've made figures where they hold the weapons fine, then... I don't know how they... It's like they fired the guy who did that. Who did the good job of making the weapons fit in the hands, and then they hired Dingleberry Joe to make the hands, and he don't know how to make them fit. Dingleberry into the... Joe, because <laughs> you... the hands are flexible, so you can get it on there, but it just doesn't fit like the older figures. Like it's just weird. Same with the shotgun; you can get it in his hand, but it's just you don't hold it right. And Shane also comes with an alternate head, which is his zombie head. And this is in the comics. Rick realizes that everybody turns into zombies, even if they were shot. So he goes back, digs them up, and Shane pops out as a zombie. And Rick kills him. So really, he's, you only see zombie Shane for like a split second. And just realize something that's annoying. His head really does not match his neck. <laughs> is it smaller than his other head? It doesn't seem like... I don't know, it's the same size, but it doesn't seem like it fits on his neck very well. No, it doesn't. I mean, it, should, it doesn't matter. I mean, I'm all right that being a little smaller, because his head would probably deteriorate a little bit under the ground. But yeah, it's just weird that his neck doesn't match. Skin color. You should be able to take the whole neck out. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't seem to fit on there right. Maybe I just didn't push it down a lot. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I don't think I don't think it had it down all the way. But yeah, I really don't like how it doesn't match his neck skin. He, he should have been able to, to replace his neck too. And his hands. Well, yeah, I didn't even think of that. <laughs> but as if you're just looking at the head, it's a cool zombie head. Got some, a nice, it almost looks like a Frankenstein type looking guy. You can just stick it in one of the governor's fish tanks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and here's one of my favorite parts of these this series is these heads on sticks. And you got this guy, which his name is Oscar from the comics. His name is Who Gives a Shit. <laughs> yeah, he's one of them characters. No <laughs> gives a shit about. I like your beard. Other mm. than that, fuck off. <laughs> and I think I'm not completely sure, but I think the heads were zombie heads, but I'm not sure, because it really looks like Ezekiel's like looking at Rick, but they don't make him go or make any or movements to show that they're still zombies, but they have the eyes that look kind of like zombies, so I don't know. I'm pretty sure they were zombie heads. I thought they had to go back and take care of them. Maybe. They, maybe they did. I don't remember. That could have just meant they were taking them down. Like, I don't know. Maybe they do say. But I'm assuming they're zombie heads, because it looks like he's looking. Looking at you. And, uh... I really like the sculpt on him. And the paint. Did a pretty awesome job on him. I like his little beard. And blood dripping out of his mouth and nose. You can see his green eyes. And the head you can pop off. And it's bloody. <laughs> and here's the dirt, grassy thingy. That part looks a little weird. A little bit. But you can pop that out of there too. So if you wanted to, you can stick all these heads in governor's tanks too, if you don't want to display them like this. This makes me wonder if the next series will have more heads, because there's quite a few heads. That would be cool. I like them. So there's Rick and Jane together in their police outfits. And we both agree that the brown on Rick looks better. 
Like, I think they should have used this brown on him. And it would have made him look more like they're part of the same, like, police group. <laughs> force. <laughs> police force. Police force. Yes. <laughs> I can't think words when I'm drinking. We're in the same cop club. <laughs> yes, we're in the same cop club, Rick. Well, quote where in your, what do you call it? <laughs> <laughs> your doo-doo brown melt. Melting candy bar. Your melting co candy bar costume. <laughs> Put on your police jacket and pants for kicking me. <laughs> but yeah, I really think they should have made it, made his clothes this color. It just looks better. It's just too glossy all over on this one. But still, it's cool seeing Rick and Shane together. Since in the early comics, they were like the two main guys. And here's TV Shane, next to Comic Shane, and they both have police baseball hats. And this Shane has a much bigger head <laughs> than the Comic Shane. <laughs> He's like, I will, you want to have a head button contest? Okay. That was just mean. <laughs> but, I'd rather this Shane win because this Shane's stuck in a stupid pose that he... He this. does come with a really cool backpack, though. Yeah, that is the Domo backpack. With crayons. <laughs> He's come with his crayons and his all kinds of shit that he... The infinite points articulation. <laughs> and he can also do this and, and that. Which is pretty awesome. Then you can take the shotgun out of his hand. He's doing something. <laughs> And you can see his nice stomach showing, which he did all the time in the show. He's constantly walking around with showing you his stomach in that one episode. <laughs> For five seconds. <laughs> well, hey there, partner. How do you do? Good. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's tipping his hat like, hey, hey partner. <laughs> I think these are Otis's clothes, aren't they? Uh, I think so. Because that's why they're all baggy, because they... Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, yeah, you can see the articulation is much improved. Although he could turn at the waist a lot more. Not that it does you any good. No. But yeah, this is one of the shittiest Walking Dead figures they ever made in 5-inch. You messed up his pose! Sorry. <laughs> this is basically like, basically like the Color Tops 7-inch figures. It's just mostly a statue that has some movement. Some useless movement. So it's not just the comic figures. I mean, it's not just the TV figures have bigger heads. It's just that this Shane has a really tiny little head. I mean, Glenn's head's even bigger. Look at the size of their hats and stuff compared to. Each... <laughs> what makes head so tiny? I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> Almost thinking maybe they were gonna make him bigger. Because he was he was kind of big in the comics. He's just his whole body is shaped different. Like he's just I don't know. It's, it's almost weird. like they half-assed him or something. I don't know. That is, like, I think the Glenn, they even, they did a better job on him. But I'm just comparing them just because they knew each other and... They, they both, both got hats. Yeah, <laughs> which Glenn's is much bigger. So you can kind of get him in a shooting pose. I had his hand on there for a second. But the way they made it, it just keeps wanting to pop off. See, look, it's on there for right now. So, look, he's on it, on it. Okay. <laughs> well, last time I stuck it on, it popped off. <laughs> so you, you can put him in a shooting pose. It's not... Oh, see, his hand's coming off. So it's not perfect, but... At least you can do that, or even relax pose, or... Whatever the hell you want to do. Or just stick it in there like that. <laughs> there we go! I shoot off my fingers. Unlike the other Shane, you can basically just do... Pointing it. And that's it. Okay. So, I like this Shane because it's a Shane with articulation compared to the TV one. Yeah. But I do not like that his head is tiny. And I think the color of his jacket and pants are just too glossy and. They not... suck. Yeah, they should have been more like the, the Rick comic series Rick's color. Or even like the, the color on the gun. There's just like a slight glossiness to it. Yeah, that would have been better too. And I like that you, you can switch his head to the zombie head, but I don't like how a zombie head looks like a zombie and then you got the regular skin color neck and hands. Mm-hmm. And I really like 
this little head. I know, that's the best part. I yeah. love that thing. <laughs> and uh, I do think it's cool they actually made a shade because that's a figure I just I didn't really think they'd go back and make. So it was kind of cool they did because I know a lot of people wore them. I do think they could have did a little better job. They could have at least made him match Rick. Like, that just seems crazy to me that they're in completely different outfits. Yeah. Look nothing alike. But, yeah, for me, I'd say he's medium if I had a point score thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, just Mystery of Cheese. <laughs> and I'm Zombie Cat. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Oh, what a crappy figure you are. You don't even come with a Domo Wrestling book bag like me. Where's yours at? Hmm? You got any crayons? Maybe I'll just take yours. No! I got a shotgun! See? Mmm! Always got a shotgun, whether you can see it or not. Invisible bullets with your invisible shotgun? No! They're real bullets! They're just clear! Well then shoot me! I will, if you try to take my adobo! Book bag! In crayons. Give me the book bag. No, I'll shoot you. I'm gonna shoot you. I'll shoot you first. I have real guns. I have invisible guns. Give me it. No. <laughs> hey, I was wondering. Who, who, why you got that head there on that stick? That's kind of weird. I didn't put it there. Oh, it's standing there next to you. I just like hanging, hanging out next to it. Who is he? He's Beardy Man. Beardy Man? Does he got crayons in his head? I don't think so. I mean, you could check. Look at him, his hat's on backwards. It might bite you. Does he got a police hat? Uh. Nope, just a regular hat. <laughs> he ain't a police. Does he look like a police? Well, you got a big undercover beard. <laughs> <laughs> An undercover beard? Yeah. Um. Pew, 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 pew. Ow. Rick, what are you? I, uh, I had about enough of you. Things are perfect before you came back to life from being in a coma. Man, I was banging Lori. I was telling Carl how to how to, how to to fish or something. I don't know. I was giving him advice and, and, and then saying, hey, I'm your new dad. And then you had to come back and ruin it. Oh, I'm going to kill you. Jane, you got a tiny head. I don't have a tiny head, Rick. You don't know about that sort of thing. Just because I wear a little kid's hat doesn't mean I have a tiny head. Oh, hey, Carl. Hey, Dad. I see you wearing the hat that I'm wearing right now. Yeah, I don't know how that's possible. Carl, what are you doing? I'm just trying to kill your dad. Go away. Um, I'm going to shoot Dad instead. <laughs> what the hell, Carl? What'd you kill your dad for? Well, you were gonna kill him? Yeah, I know, but 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 you shouldn't do it. Huh. Now I got a big boy hat. No one to say I'm trying to head no more. Ha <laughs> ha I got a big boy hat. Uh, big boy, big boy hat. Uh, uh, a man. I mean a man hat. Man hat. Big man hat. I got a big man. Oh damn it, man! You see them other pictures there? Why don't you click on one of them to see the video? Or you could subscribe and eat. Ooh.